If you have allergies, like I do, then you probably know that you need to wash all of your bedding in scalding hot water. Yes, according to experts, that is anywhere from 130 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Now keep in mind, this is scalding water. If it's coming out of your tap, it could hurt you, so be careful. Along with detergent, this hot water ends up breaking apart or denaturing, killing, removing all of the little bugs as well as the allergens those bugs deposit. All gone. But what if you can't machine wash your bedding in hot? Well, there are a few alternatives. You should be able to get a good night's rest without sniffling or sneezing or, God forbid, snoring. This is Liz from Comfort Sleep Sanctuary. Don't forget to check the links in the description below for more information and like and subscribe. Number one, more things are machine washable than you think. For example, most manufacturers will come with instructions that tend to be very conservative. They don't want you to break apart your new garment or shrink it in the wash. So they'll just slap dry clean only on pretty much everything. We already know that many fabrics are easily machine washable, such as cotton and polyester. And yes, some of those fabrics will shrink. This is an issue if you have clothing that needs to fit, but bedding, it's not so much an issue if you lose an inch or two here or there. There are some fabrics that you've been told all your life are not machine washable, which might actually be machine washable in certain circumstances. This is definitely something we're going to explore in other videos. One example is yes, you can machine wash silk. Now I wouldn't machine wash that delicate silk skirt you have. If you have thicker silk, such as a mom between 19 and 25, which is what you find in bedding, then yes, you can machine wash it in hot water. However, I wouldn't dry it in the dryer, just lay it flat. Another example is felted wool. If you have a cardigan sweater, I think we've all made this mistake, you don't throw it in the washing machine because as we know, hot water along with agitation will cause wool fibers to shrink. And so that beautiful wool cardigan you have is now the size of a doll's sweater. However, there are some exceptions. One is felted wool. So what happens with that shrinkage in the washing machine and all that agitation is to make the wool thicker and what's called felted wool. So if you buy something that's already felted, such as a felted blanket, then shrinkage should be minimal. Also, you may see some wool that is washable. This is usually because the yarn has been pre-washed or pre-shrunk first. Even if you have something that is made of a washable fabric like cotton, you still might be deterred from washing it due to the stitching. Uh, for example, that earlone quilt from your grandmother, it was probably put together with cotton thread, which may or may not be deteriorating about now. These days, things are stitched together with thread that contains polyester or nylon along with cotton, and that adds to its lifespan. Another issue is maybe the bedding or the garment that you have has low quality stitching. Another issue you could have is with colors that could bleed. Perhaps you have a beautiful comforter that is red flowers on a crisp white background. Throw that in the wash and now you might have dark pink flowers on a light pink background because everything sort of bled together. So if you can, wash things with dark colors, don't wash them with light. And if you have something like our comforter example where there are lots of different colors that might bleed into each other, that's an example where you might have to avoid machine washing. Number two, does your bedding actually fit in your washing machine? That beautiful thick duvet that you see in the catalog, that may look great on your bed, but can you actually fit it in your washing machine? A better plan may be to stick with thinner layers of comforters and blankets and just layer them on. 
It also may be better to use the layering plan if you have temperature issues like I do where you have a very narrow temperature comfort zone. And so finding the perfect temperature can be a bit challenging. This way you could add or remove layers as you need it. So what if you have bedding that you simply don't want to risk in your hot washing machine? What are your options? Here are some recommendations from the experts. One option is to wash in warm water. That would be 86 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. And then wash twice in cold water. Number four is to place your bedding in the freezer overnight. This will kill most of the critters, such as dust mites. However, it won't remove the allergens. You can then wash your bedding as you usually do. Number five is to place your bedding in the dryer first at 130 degrees Fahrenheit. And again, that should kill most everything. And then wash it and dry it as you normally would. If you have a steam cleaning system for your clothes, that might actually work as well. A clothing steamer, just the handheld type, or a iron may remove some allergens, but won't do a complete job. And yes, when all else fails, you can dry clean. However, keep in mind, dry cleaning will kill dust mites, which is a good thing, but it won't remove all of the allergens. Some will remain. So how do you prefer to wash your bedding? Again, for more information, please look in the links in the description below. And as always, like, subscribe, and ring that bell. Good night.